Hi, those are Redneck here. Today we're going to be shooting the uh, 357 Magnum. Um, I've got a Ruger Blackhawk new model, 357 Magnum. It's a single action revolver. They'll also shoot 38 specials. Uh, what we're going to do a little shooting today at the uh, Kerplunk Center down there. Um, see what, what do y'all think of it? I love this gun personally. It's one of my favorite guns to shoot. Let's go ahead and walk this way. How important eye protection and ear protection is with shooting. So uh, I got my ears on and I got my safety glasses on. We're gonna set these up here real quick like. For those of you who don't know a single action versus a double action, single action you have to cock the hammer back every time you shoot. Double action you can either pull the trigger and it'll automatically cock the hammer back or you can still do the single action way and pull the hammer back. All right, let's do a couple rounds. And that's all she wrote. Now these things got quite a bit of kick to them, and for those that, you know, that may not, you know, know revolvers very well, there's a reason for their shape, especially these ones here, with the way they're single action, the reason they're shaped like that is because every time you fire a shot, what you're supposed to do is let this rock back naturally. That way you're right there. You just it's just a fire, rock back, back to your grip. That's the reason that that's curved like that and it's small, so that you can just naturally let the gun rock back and forth. Another thing about these is you'll find in a lot of the old western movies, they're not actually shooting age gun. They're shooting uh, stuff like these. This is not an old gun. This is a newer gun. They still design them the way they did back then because in my opinion revolvers are one of the most reliable guns you can ever own is a revolver. Whether it be single action or double action. It's just whatever your preference is. But they don't shoot period style or they shoot period style but they don't actually shoot the guns that they shot back then in the day. Because the majority of the westerns and the times that they say that they take place um, they're shooting black powder still. They're shooting black powder cartridges still. And with a black powder pistol, you have to, there's a, where this is right here, it would be normally on the bottom of the barrel more, and that's to pack your powder. You pull that out, you pack your powder, then you take and you shove your bullet through, and you rotate your cylinder every time you want to do that. So they don't sit there and they go, chick, 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 chick and ready to shoot again, they had to literally reload it by hand every time. That's why a lot of the Westerns, you know, I like to watch Westerns. Westerns are one of my favorite types of movies, but there, there's a lot of false information in them. So if you want to do more research, uh, go ahead. But uh, I'm going to end my video today saying uh, this knows the Redneck Force. Uh, like and subscribe my videos. Go ahead and head on over to Don's 52, that's D-O-N-Z-E 52, his channel. He's got lots of stories, lots of cool stories about Southwest Nebraska life here. That's my cook's Mr. Bill. Um, he's a, one of my role models uh, by far. He's a really very wise man for, for his age. Cause he's not very old. Right, Mr. Bill, I know you're gonna watch this. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day.